my favorite things. So I wanted to talk to you today about a bag that I purchased during my European haul. Um, and I will link that video below, but it is, um, it talks, oh, come on up. Come on, woman. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay. You are always wanting to be in the video. Okay. So um, I'll link that video below, but it is where I talk about my purchases at the Chanel store in Paris, at the Paris airport, and I talk about the prices that I paid in Euro versus the US prices that are currently available for these items. But I'll link that below. And one so one of the bags I got is this bag. And this is called, according to their little website, it's called um, Grain Caskin Flap with Handle. And really, with so many of Chanel bags are named flap with handle that it's really hard to, to really know what they're talking about. But I did see a website today. They call this bag uh, Chevron Chic. And it sort of makes sense because it's got the Chevron um, design on the grain caskin. And because, anyway, I'm going to talk about how I, like my first impression after using this non-stop for one week. Now, this is only one week of wearing it, but I'll tell you what I think are pros and cons. And spoiler alert, I love this bag. Um, it is kind of like the Coco handle in the sense that it does have a handle and it does have a strap. But this strap, unlike the Coco handle, is long enough for me to wear crossbody. Not only that, because the handle is flexible, I can wear this crossbody without the handle being uncomfortable. So let me uh, model for you what this looks like first. So this is with the shortest setting. It has three holes, like I said. I can wear it like this. I'm gonna move this you. I'm gonna move you, Boomer. Okay. Ah. Okay, so here it is. Okay, and I wore an outfit with a definitive waist and color scheme so that you could see this black bag really easily. You could wear a crossbody, and again, I'm 5'2", and I'm wearing this at the, on the shortest handle, I mean, shortest uh, length of the strap. Okay, so there it is. And then I'm gonna make this the longest. I'll make it into a longest uh, setting. Okay. This is on its longest setting. And of course you can hand hold it like this. And you can hand hold it without the strap. I could, uh, you can totally take the strap off or you could hand hold it like this. I usually carry it like this. Or you can certainly do it this way. It is big enough, I mean much, it's like really comfortable to put your hand through. It is such a comfortable bag. I love it. It is super light. I'll put the measurements, um, the dimensions, I'll go through the dimensions and measurements uh, and I'll weigh it to give you a, uh, an idea of how heavy it can be. And I also took pictures of everything that I fit in here so you can see all the stuff that can fit in here. What is nice about this bag is the fact that it is so light, it is very comfortable and you can wear it multiple different ways. The other thing that's nice about this bag is that it does have one compartment and the second compartment and there is a zipper pocket in the back. So it is, um, it's, it's very well organized. The other thing is the back pocket here is the, it's big enough for me to put my tickets and stuff like that but I could also put my phone here if I didn't, you know, just like that because it is very flexible, it's soft leather so it is, it's not so stiff that, that I'm, you know, worried that it's gonna it will stretch it out, I would think. So that's why I don't use it to put this in, but in a pinch, I can put my phone in there. And I have the iPhone XS Max. It doesn't go in sideways. I think it's, it's, it's you know, my phone is too big. I don't know. So what I usually do is I put my phone either in the front portion or the back portion for easy access. And it is very easy access, just like that. And the other thing I like about this, um, this bag is that the, the hardware is sort of champagne gold, so it kind of goes with both silver, jewelry, or, uh, and, as well as gold. And because it has such a long portion that is 
leather, it makes the bag lighter. The other thing that is, to me, a pro, but for some people it may be cons, is that these chains, the chain strap is very light. So for, um, it can feel sort of flimsy, but to me, I, I like the fact that it's light because it does make the bag really, really light and comfortable to wear. Um, so those are all the pros. I absolutely love it. When I, when I wear it, I really, really enjoy wearing it. One of the things that I was concerned about when I first got this, and I hadn't worn it, but before I started wearing it, I was concerned about one thing, and that is the structure of this bag. I was worried that it would lose structure because it is a softer grain calfskin. And when I saw this bag on at the Nima Marcus, and as well as Paris, they had the larger sizes, well, the, in Paris, they had the small size. They had the same size as this, but in pink. And it was sort of indented right here because it had sort of sunk in. So I was really worried about that this would have that problem. And also when I went to Neiman Marcus, they had the larger sizes of the same bag and it seemed to have sort of smooshed down a little bit. And not that that's bad. Um, you know, I think it's supposed to become sort of easy, relaxed, smooshy sort of a bag with some structure. I think it will maintain its structure because of the the middle um, compartment, middle, um, what is it, partition right here. I think it will maintain its structure, you know, because of this. But it is very possible that, that this portion, this portion could cave in. And I had to sort of be okay with that and also try to you know, figure out a way so that that doesn't happen so easily. So one of the things that I was waiting for or looking for was a bag organizer for this. And it was really hard to find one because this is not, like, not everybody has this bag. Not everybody talks about this bag. So it was really hard to find one. So I found an eBay seller that sold two little bag organizers and I thought maybe I can fix it. And my friend and I kind of sort of adjusted those two bag organizers. By the way, I got these bag organizers for, I wanna say, two of them for like 11 bucks. It was really cheap. So if it wasn't gonna work, if you know, then I was gonna be okay with it. But I have it, you know, I, we made it into a shape that was gonna work for this, and it sort of worked out great. Um, let me show you what it looks like, and, and I'm gonna take out, I put one in the back and one in the front, and it looks like this. Actually, this was a regular, you know, rectangular bag organizer with a bottom. I cut out the bottom and I made it like this, upside down. So what I'll do is I will put the dimensions of this and I'll fill, I'll, I'll fill myself measuring it. So if you ever want to, if you ever get this bag and you want to make this for yourself, that you could do it. But it Anyway, that's because I was sort of concerned that maybe this might lose shape. It may not if I, if, you know, maybe I'm overly paranoid. But um, I certainly do stuff this bag when I'm not using it. So I stuff it and then I lay it on its side like this. So that it doesn't, um, so when, when I'm storing it, I lay it on. But that's how, I, that's what I do with all my bags. I lay it on its side stuffed. So that's what I do with this bag. And let me think. Um, I'm gonna show you pictures of what, everything that fits. It does fit a lot. I was able to fit my phone, my wallet. One of the other things that I was concerned about was when I put this bag organizer in the back compartment, there's a first compartment in the front and then there's a second compartment in the back right here. When I put this bag organizer in the, in the back compartment, I noticed a little bulge right here and I kept thinking, what is that bulge? What was going on was that, and this only happens with a small bag. The small bag has a pocket in the back, which has a zipper. And the pocket, say this is a pocket, okay? And see how it's flipped inside out, right? So, and that's how they have it. They had the pocket flip like this, where you can see the stitching. And this stitching part was pr being pressed when I put this in against the leather in the, oops, it's shaking, on, against the back leather. So the, the, 
zipper pocket was here and the stitching of the zipper pocket was over here and creating this little bulge on the soft leather. So what I did to mitigate that is to fold, let me see if I can explain it better for you, is to fold this one in a little bit. So if I'm going into the pocket like this, I folded it in like this a little bit, like that, and put it towards that corner towards behind this Mona Lisa pocket so that it won't show. And right now, I don't see that there's any problems. I don't use a zipper pocket at all, so I don't think that's gonna be any problem at all, but, but because this is a softer leather, um, I think if you had items that were like poking into this leather, like, it, like a sharp, angular item that was poking into it that it might stretch out certain parts if you keep it like that constantly. Um, the other thing is I took a picture of it. There is a slight line right here and that is because this leather is folded over and it is the stitching line. Now, it doesn't bother me. I think this is a fantastic bag and it is so slight of a line, you know, with wear. I'm just gonna wear it. It is so comfortable. This is, I can't, I absolutely love wearing this bag and this was a surprise. So I think, I feel like I can wear this both casually as well as for evening out. It is a very elegant looking bag. It also comes as a tote, this style, the, the Chevron Chic comes in as a tote. So that's it. So now I'm gonna show you the measurements of this and I'm gonna show you measurements of this so in case you wanted to make something like this. Um, okay. The dimensions of this bag are 10 inches, six, about six and a half inches. Handle drop is that much, which is about two and a half inches. Now the strap length at the longest, I'm gonna just do the longest. 19 and a half, almost 20. Okay. Okay, I have two items here that are pretty much similar. So if I do this, the bottom is about, let's see. Bottom is about 10 inches top we made it smaller we sort of you know pinched it in and sewed that part is about eight inches so i hope you liked this video and if you like this video please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so that you would be notified every time i upload more videos and don't forget to subscribe okay bye